this experiment, we need to have three glasses. Now, the first glass here needs to be saturated with salt, that's salty water. And then this one is fresh water, just plain fresh water. And the third one is a half glass of fresh water. So I'm going to put an egg in each one and I'll start with the first one, see what happens. Do you think it's going to float or sink? The egg sunk quite quickly and you did see it probably change in shape a little bit there too. That's another story. But a fresh egg will sink, a rotten egg will float, I'm told. The second one we're going to put in is this saturated salty water and see what happens. It bounces back up to the top again. So seawater is salty water. The third one we're going to put in the glass there. It goes to the bottom as well. And then we're going to try and add some salty solution and see if we can change the solution there. So much that rats. And we might even add a little bit more salt directly to it and see what happens then. And it seems that egg wants to stay about halfway, which means it must be a slightly different density too, because it's all to do with density. Water has a density of about a thousand grams per litre, whereas salt water in the sea has a thousand and twenty to a thousand and thirty, and saturated salt is up to one thousand two hundred uh, grams per litre. So that shows you the different densities and different things float. The Dead Sea makes people float more and they can sit in it and read their newspaper. Whereas different densities might mean that things only half float.